Bullet point one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're just gonna, <laughs> that's how we're gonna start this. White House letter. What do you have to say about that, Chris <laughs> Mohan? Oh that's how you want to start that? Yes. <laughs> just real abrupt? I think it's funny. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, we got a letter from the White House. It's a greeting it's card. It's a greeting card. It's a greeting card. So the White House has a whole greetings division. And for a minute I thought maybe the, the Trump administration like just didn't do it. It would make sense in the whole ethos of like less government and fuck the people. Uh, uh, because there's lots of photos when you Google White House greetings of the Obama family sending cards to, you can ask for a birthday, you can ask for an anniversary, you can ask for, um, I don't know, there's, there's White House greetings, Google it, because People there's that not- People have been killed by drones. There's not a website on the White House website anymore for it. I don't think, there might be. The I, fact I is I asked it. for it. I asked for it, okay? I asked for it. I have this weird collection of presidential signatures, and I just thought it would be the funniest thing in the world if we had a wedding card from the Trump White House. <laughs> so I asked for one, and they sent one. It's hilarious because I feel like our marriage is essentially like a massive affront to this administration. <laughs> Kind of. I love that they addressed it to Mr. and Mrs. Chris Mohan. Because. Yeah. Because I looked up the new progressive way to do it, right? And the way that I addressed things were, like, my aunt and uncle. Um, actually, I think I did a uh, Schick family for them. But it was, like, Mr. and Mrs. Gary and Karen. So, like, I use both their names that if, if you're looking to address envelopes to people in a progressive way, air quotes, uh, that's a way to do it. So that's what I did. So you don't just erase the existence, you know, of the, the other partner. The lady partner? Well, I don't know. I'm not sure how to address for LGBTQ folks. Oh, fair. I can't remember. I think there's, like, an MRX one or just MX is one, but I, what I unfortunately didn't have any gay married couples or non-binary triads to send our wedding invitations to. What's a non-binary triad? Oh, polyamorous triad. Uh, okay. I saw something about poly triads getting married. I'm not sure if you can or how that works, but I if literally, you can, I support it. That's fine. As it, long as everyone's happy and consenting, it doesn't it matter. It sounds like a very, like, inclusive, like, version of the Yakuza. Is what that sounds like to me. Okay. The triad. Yeah, because the there's triad three. Is like, yeah, but it just, there's always, every time, like, you use the thing triad, like, in, especially in animes, they're always, like, Yakuza-style gang members. Well, in this case, it is love. All right. Well, that's nice. I like that. Well, what did you want to say about our card? <laughs> I just think it's hilarious that, like... From Mr. and Mrs. Donald Trump. First. Sorry, Melania. You did it first. And I'm pretty sure your signature is forged. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm almost certain because it all looks exactly the same. Like, her signature and his signature look exactly alike. And I'm like, oh, I think he forged her signature. I also think it's super funny that he sent a, like, his administration has now sent a card to, uh, the wedding of a mixed race couple, uh, to an immigrant whose wife wants to steal his job. So. I love that. <laughs> that's kind of hilarious. It made me so happy the first time he said that to me. And it was like, 
I do want, I do want Donald Trump's job. And it's like, dude, like, our wedding is basically at a frontier administration. And, like, everything your administration kind of stands for, it's mixed race. It's immigrant. It was non-traditional, right? There was, like, elements of paganism, of Hinduism, of Catholic, like, everything was in there. We had two of the most subversive comics give a, give toasts at our wedding. We had oh Lee Camp God, and Stuart true. Huff. Uh, my engagement ring is made in Mexico, and your engagement Oops. ring is from India. Yeah, it is. It's really beautiful too. It's and your jacket was locally sourced, uh, which he's all about. I feel like he's all kind about of, that. Shit. Except, not really. Um. Well, I, I don't know where the metal itself came from, but the person who crafted the jacket, which is the the outer layers, it, you can do this. It's an option. It, there's so many nuances to wedding rings and stuff. Um, I'm not really materialistic a whole lot, but I thought this was important for posterity. Like it's something I can give to our children sort of thing. Um, so whatever metal it's made out of, I don't know where that came from, but the someone who went to school with one of my best friends at Edinburgh University now has a shop called Skelton Jewelry. We can walk to it from our house, and we did. Which is pretty dope. Yeah, and she she crafted it. I gave her like a little sketch of what I thought I wanted it to look like. She gave me a sketch back of what she could actually do, which was, of course, much better because I'm not a visual artist like that. Um, and yeah, it's one of the most beautiful things uh, that I own. I love it very much. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections, where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current socio-political environment, current news stories, uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, you can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, and another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road.